all right guys so welcome back to talk blue this is a very very day that we are resuming our premier league matches as chelsea football club please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so so today on saturday at around three that is uh, three uk time and 5 p.m east african time we'll be having our match we are uh, playing crystal palace now this is graham potter's first premier league game in charge of chelsea but he definitely has some um, you know and and wanting you know and 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 happy moments with um crystal palace remember graham potter has not uh won against or rather any game against Chris, crystal palace in his last seven matches he has lost all of them now also remember chelsea has not lost any game against crystal palace crystal palace since 2018 now i don't know what will happen here but let's remain hopeful so yesterday he was talking that is on friday and he provided some updates on the teams on the team how we are uh, preparing so he mentioned some players who will not be uh, available i'm talking about edward mendy doubtful ngolo kante doubtful mark kukurea uh, doubtful konichu kwemeka doubtful so listen to what he had to say in this following video no they're not they well they're, they're absolutely fine in terms of um, coming through the, the rehab stages uh ng's just uh, been on the grass with the team but not really full training um and he's a bit further on, but still hasn't had enough to be to be uh, involved at the weekend, really. So, um, but maybe next week for him. Uh, got a bit of illness with Mark Carella and Carney. Apart from that, everybody's fit. All right. So you've heard what he has said. Uh, let's remain hopeful that everything will be okay. So Graham Potter in his press briefing yesterday also talked about how he's very ready to work with the players, including those who joined us recently, and his plans uh, towards you know the rest or the remaining of this season. He says he will also be uh, rather giving everyone a chance, including the likes of of uh, Pulisic, who have not been featuring you know exclusively. Uh, he has used. Um, he says he has used that long break to get to know everyone and he says he is really really ready and willing to uh, use every player as long as we, suc we we get successful as long as we we get to where we want to be so listen to what he had to say about this it's time to get to know people in a in an environment where there's not the the games uh, and at the same time we're itching to go you know itching to play because that's really when you find out about everything and you learn a lot and you make progress and you make progression sorry so um, you know we couldn't really control anything in terms of how things have panned out in terms of the cancellations um, international break is what it is so then we just have to make the most of it and now we're looking forward to the start again he has not coached that uh, you know big team like Chelsea before, but let let us give him a chance, all right? Whatever happened to Thomas Tuchel happened, and actually he is saying that he doesn't want to be compared to Thomas Tuchel, and he doesn't want uh, to 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 look to like Tuchel. He will do what he is uh, to do so that um you know he 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 get he, he get to his own way uh, of of. Coaching and is a Graham Potter Chelsea side going to look fundamentally different to Thomas Tuchel one in terms of the system, the style you play, the personnel you use as well? Well, I think everybody's got a slightly different idea on football, um, and I don't get too wound up about that. To be honest, it's mm. more um, <clears throat> that's it's more a choice that we all make, and the job then is to make our choices work. Uh, huge respect for Thomas and his teams. So I'm certainly not in the business of comparing myself to him or to anybody else. I've just got to try to 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 put a team out on the pitch, like I said at the, my first press conference, that, that was is recognisable, that he's uh, something that the supporters are proud of and ultimately he's a, a winning football team. That's the challenge. So guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to this. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Remember, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please like and comment. Tell me. Uh, what is your prediction towards this game, uh, Chelsea versus Crystal Palace? For me, I think we will win 3-1, uh, 3-1 against Crystal Palace. Please comment about your prediction. Salute. I'm out.